it uh, it was an incredible experience like i said um nothing will probably ever top this um you know playing against the best teams in the world the best players in the world uh, with so much interest from from people all over the world so uh, you know it was just such an incredible experience i think i pressed the refresh button on my account uh, after the game sometime and uh, I can't remember the exact numbers, but they certainly were rising and rising and rising. And uh, I don't know. Then I started seeing it in the media. The papers were reading, uh, writing about it. And um, it was just all a bit crazy, to be honest. Gonna be absolutely honest about the whole thing. And I, I, I'm, I'm just very happy about it, you know. I. I've always been partly active on on Instagram. I've posted pictures once in a while and and um more interest in my Instagram account than me as a person is just something that I am very thankful for. I receive a lot of messages, uh positive messages. Um most of them in Spanish obviously, so I might have to start learning Spanish and, and, and that's probably the goal, you know, I I, I want to be able to read the messages I get and uh, respond in Spanish or Portuguese or whatever. Um, it's, I, I, I don't have a count, but it's at least over three, four hundred a day. Yeah, we obviously wanted to qualify from the group, um, which didn't happen. So that was a disappointment in a way. But I think looking back, I think we can only be proud of ourselves. Uh, we It was our first uh, World Cup, hopefully not the last one. Um, so I think we just have to take the positives uh, with us from, from the tournament. And uh, there are certainly uh, quite, a, quite a few positives. It just felt right, you know, if if something feels right, I think you should just do it. Um, I've said it before, I, I, in my opinion, if, if I wouldn't have changed to um, Sandhausen, I would probably not have played in the World Cup. So, you know, you have to, you can't just only take, you have to give back a little bit too. And uh, I feel like my trainer in Sandhausen, uh, in a way, gave me a new life in football. So. I just, I wanted to give back a little bit. When I came to Sandhausen, I could feel it in the first couple of games that, you know, my confidence wasn't really there after playing so little. And, uh, you know, I'm only thankful for, for, for all the support from the players too. I mean, they, they did a great job. They, they helped me too a lot. And uh, so, yeah, it, it's one of the best decisions, but a risky one. But I'm, I'm glad that the risk paid off. Yeah, my parents and my friends uh, visited me a, f a few times and I always took them to this uh, Königstuhl, which is a beautiful place. But uh, I haven't found a place to live yet. I lived in a hotel the five months I was in, in, uh, in Sandhausen before the summer break. So when I'm back from uh, training camp, I, the first thing will be to, to find a place to live. We don't have the best players uh, in Iceland or in Sandhausen. We we don't have the biggest budget. We don't have the best players, but uh, we have something else. We have this family kind of atmosphere. Um, we have a close relationship with the with the fans, and uh, the team spirit is just great. You know, I'm not saying that the team spirit was where I was before wasn't good, but. It's exceptionally good in Sandhausen, I would say. And uh, I think if we keep on improving, you know, those things that we can control, I think uh, hopefully we, we can go on to uh, play a good season.